Hey Axie Rankers, have you seen my team that costs around $600 and it's over 2.5k MMR? This team has been working really well, even though today was a weird day for me. For some reason I didn't get a single double anemone team, instead most of my losses were against double aquas where both Axies have Arco or Koi. So today I'll bring you three different matches against some Twitch and TTVs. I hope this helps you understand the team's potential, and how to play it. I'll be playing my newest version of the shrimp team. You can watch yesterday's video to understand the concept behind it, and why I chose some of these cards, but I'll give you some explanation in game as well. Opponent will be playing a similar team, but instead of using a mech backliner, he uses another aqua. His plant is in utility plant with energy gain, card draw and heal, but also damage with sandal. Next, he's using a shrimp aqua in the middle. He's an aqua similar to the one I was using previously, but mine had 57 speed. And finally, his backliner aqua has Arco, Risky Fish, Sandal and Nemo. As you can see, he has the advantage since this aqua can kill my mech in the 1v1. Let's see how this game goes. Unfortunately he gets the shrimp combo first and kills my mech right away. This is not a good way to start. This is why my shrimp struggles against Aquas. If they put some shield, I can't kill them in one combo. Especially if they can outspeed me with Arco or Koi. Other than that, this is really strong against other backliners. Now you will see why speed is important in this game. And why my new zero cost card wins me so many games. I'll finish his backliner with just one energy. And since I'm faster, he knows he can't do anything in scoops. On game 2, I'll be playing another team that looks like the one I had before. His plant is exactly the same, the aqua has piranha instead of risky fish and dual blade in the horn, that actually helps him kill reptiles and plants, but makes him slower. And he also has a double nut cracker mech with 47 speed. So, let's see what team can win this. My old concept, or the new variation with the zero cost on the aqua. He skipped turn 1, so I'm waiting for a backdoor on turn 2. I'll try to get value from my mech and play his cards right away. This was really close, but I could actually kill his plant and draw my aqua cards due to cattail. 
Now, check my zero cost being used, and making sure to kill the mech with just 3 energy. No more last stands. At this point, I'm not sure if he goes front or back, so I'll split my energy between both actions. And Arco will let me be faster and close the game. And game 3 will be an exciting one. I'll be playing a Disable Assort team for the first time here in the channel. He's using a weird tank, I guess that's a budget version. He has an Aqua with 3 damage cards. Risky Fish, Beach and Buzz Buzz, but also Cattail for the draws. Then, a midliner that every Disable Assort has been using since last season. A double discard bug, with Scarab in the back and Fish Snack to counter Aquas and Birds. And finally the MVP of the team and one of my favorite axes in this game. The Disable Assor. And this one is really strong because he's 50 speed. If he goes 1v1 against my mech and he's faster, I'll be screwed, so my goal will be to rush him down and fight this guy with both my Aqua and mech. Let's see what happens. I want to make sure I'll keep pushing him and at the same time, trying to keep his energy low for the late game. and I could get to the Disable Asaur with two axes alive. Now, I need to damage him but make sure my mech attacks first before he disables my mouth and horn cards. If I didn't have Arco, I'd lose this matchup 100%. And that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, I'm loving this team as long as I don't fight double aquas with double speed up cards. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, so you don't miss any tips, concepts or strategies. Thanks you so much for watching, see you tomorrow.